Hey, beautiful people, how's it going? I'm your girl, Hugger Tell Shay. Thank you all for being here, excuse me, and joining me. I hope y'all had a great weekend. I know I had a lovely weekend, okay? The best weekend that I've had, one of the best weekends I've had so far this year. Definitely in the top, in my top five, okay? I definitely had a good weekend. Um, I hope that y'all had a good weekend as well and an even better week ahead. I hope y'all focusing on things and you know, getting ready for these holidays that's coming up and just enjoying stuff and planning things. So I hope you are doing good out there. If you're new here, my name is Hot Girl Terrell Shea, obviously. And I thank y'all all for being here and joining me. So y'all have been loving the forecast that I do. I'm back with another one. All right. <clears throat> I waited a couple days until I waited specifically till today, Sunday, September 29th, to do this one for y'all. We're going to do September 29th through August 3rd. I'm sorry. What? September 29th, Sunday through October 3rd, okay? So we're stepping into a new a new month, okay? October, and I'm, and I'm showing you all a few messages from October 1st to October 3rd, okay? But we're going to do September 29th to October 3rd for you, okay? Hope y'all do enjoy this message. Please update me in the comments. Let me know if any of the days resonate with you or what happened on certain days. I love y'all's feedback. I love... You know, the communication in the comments. Um, Y'all are truly the best. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? Spirit, angels, accessories, holy divine, please protect me as I get these messages out for my beautiful collective's highest good. Spirit, what do I need to know and be aware, be prepared for on these days that I ask? Please give them the clarity that they are seeking, what they need to know, what's coming up ahead. Amen, amen, and amen. Any negative energy, please keep it away from me, myself, family, friends, soul tribe. All right. September 29th on a Sunday for the collective. September 30th on a Monday. What does the collective need to be aware of? October 1st on a Tuesday. October 2nd on a Wednesday for the collective. And October 3rd on a Thursday for the collective. So the overall energy, anything can come out on day to day, but what's showing overall energy is that an ex is wanting to talk to you, collective, okay? There is an ex who wants to talk to you, okay? This is my here who could be realizing that they invested in something. They invested in the total wrong thing. They should have invested their time into something else, which could have been at a risk of losing you. Yeah, this is my here. They were, they were bound to a toxic karmic. And they're realizing now that you are forever the empress. You are the one, okay? You are the one that they possibly want to be with. Somebody here may admit, admit that to you soon, like... You know, I made a mistake. I chose somebody else over you because of my selfish ways, my selfish, what I thought was good for me, and it didn't end up being good for me, okay? But this person is knowing that they are ready, that they have invested in the wrong thing, okay? So let's see what your day-to-days are looking like. So September 29th on a Sunday, Spirit, wanting to take you out and show you off, okay? So that would make sense as to why an ex is wanting to talk to you. So this somebody here. They want to show you off, okay? Maybe maybe they want to, like, brag on you to maybe this this third party. You know, like, look, this is the woman I want to be with. This is the man I want to be with. You know, this is my here feel like you are worth it, that they have no problem. They have no issue or problem with, like, letting you know what's going on. This is my here who I thought that really love you and care about you, okay? I feel like I'm getting energy this person. They want to take you out. It's like they feel like they owe you something. But not only that, they want to post you and brag on you and be like, you know what, this is my woman or this is my man. This is who I should have been getting right for the whole entire time. But they were bound to a toxic connection or a toxic person. All right, so let's see. September 29th on a Sunday says wanting to take the collective out and show them off. Yeah, somebody's in their feelings about you. Somebody here has maybe a fear that you're moving on from them. They could be in this worried energy. Yeah, there's somebody here that you don't trust, collective. This could be your ex, okay? You don't trust them. You found that this person is very disloyal, okay? Somebody here that could have turned their back on you and you possibly turned your back on them now. But somebody here who burned a bridge with you. Like, you don't, you have no trust in this person whatsoever, okay? You have none whatsoever. Um, now they want to come in here and take you out and show you off and do all the things they should have been doing from the get-go, so let's see, Spirit, what do you have for the collector's high good? September 29th on a Sunday. It says, want to take the collective out or show the collective off. 
want to take the collective out and show them off. Eight of Swords in reverse. Could be a Gemini. This is somebody here who is like they want to do this, but I feel like for some of you, they're not going to go through with the plan because they're going to be in this energy where they have like, they are their biggest critic. Your person is their biggest critic right now. This is somebody here who realized they held back from a good connection. But I feel like because the Eight of Swords talks about, you know, negative thoughts and keeping these like imprisonment, keeping things in their head. Well, some of you, they're going to let you know, like, I should have done right by you from the get go. This is somebody here who's releasing any negative thoughts that they have maybe towards this connection. There may be some action being taken, but just know if this person does ask you or brings up, hey, can I take you out this weekend or can I, when do you, when are you going to be available? I feel like it's going to be because this person is realizing like they held back from something that was really good or could have been something really good. I feel like this person is ready to, somebody here possibly didn't feel like they were good enough for you is what I'm also hearing. So they went to go settle for something else that maybe was more comfortable or not, that wasn't really challenging them as much as you do. I don't know. I got to feel like maybe it was something was maybe easier for them elsewhere, but at the same time, it was no value to that. And I feel like this person could have maybe, maybe realized, thought like maybe I'm supposed to accept these type of things or places or people. Maybe I feel like for some of you, you were the best thing that could happen to this person. Like y'all didn't meet by a coincidence. You didn't just come into this person for no reason. You didn't have a baby with this person for no reason. You didn't, you know, learn all these lessons and go through certain things with this individual and I feel like they're realizing that you know they're realizing like I messed up I was in my ego I had pride I let this woman down I let this man down for some of this person I thought they didn't feel good enough for you anymore or they didn't feel good enough for you after a while they're like the collective deserves better you know maybe the type of women or men that they chase which could be toxic people maybe every every relationship that your person could have gotten it was toxic end up in your person going to jail or a karmic going to jail or stuff on social media it's like your person never really had somebody like you and i feel like that's what it was that's why they realized like i can actually be in a peaceful calm relationship i don't have to be in something toxic eight of swords in reverse september 29th on a sunday want to take the collective out and show the collective off eight of swords in reverse yeah so this is my here who's kind of struggling right now it could be a sagittarius that was an issue this person, they weren't opening up because they were struggling with themselves. For some of you, this was about, it didn't even have nothing to do with you. It was what your person was used to and they felt like, maybe I deserve these type of men or women. But that's not, for some of you, person is moving, moving on past the idea of dating certain type of men or certain type of women because you really stood out. Even if the karmic man had a little change or, you know, it may felt better elsewhere. It was just comfortable. You challenge this person. September 29th on a Sunday. Want to take the collective out and show the collective off. Yeah, because they don't want you to walk away. Eight of Cups in reverse. This is my here who cannot stand to see you walk away, collective. They, they don't want you to walk away. Yeah, somebody here got a strong desire for you. They got a lot of passion for you. Even if you are in this Queen of Swords energy where you're closing off and you're not communicating and you've already set boundaries. Some of you have already told this person, look, I don't want nothing to do with you. I wish you well, but please do not contact me no more. But it's like, it's something about you that they cannot just move on without you why can't this person walk away from the collector with the eight of cups in reverse why can't this person walk away why can't this person truly walk away from the collector with the eight of cups in reverse spirit why can't this cut this person walk away with the eight of cups in reverse yeah because it's like they get excited it's like it's something about you you make kind of make this person want to change their ways do better they have a strong desire for you. It's, it's some, some, something about this. Only you make them feel this way. Eight of Wands. Can't walk away from the collective. Why? Eight of Wands. Some of you, they got a toxic attachment to you. Maybe this person feel like they're very codependent over your love. Maybe if they go without your love for too long, this person kind of freaks out. Like I said, you are different. This person really wants to feel like they want to take some type of action towards you. But they don't care what happens. Yeah, this person has an, has an obsession with you. Could be a Capricorn, Gemini energy, Pisces energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, yeah, this is my hero who I feel like they kind of feel like they've lost something really good. Like I said, when somebody never has something like that or somebody like you, they usually tend to not know how to treat it. 
And then after a while, it's like, okay, I got to get to your love. Let's say like your person, let's say for if anybody there experience like getting your first place or a car and you, you would treat it right for a minute. And then after a while, it's kind of like, maybe you were so used to like taking it washing and, and, and through the dry, I'm through the dryer, taking it like, wa like washing your car, keeping the maintenance up, keeping the oil change up. The next thing you know, you after months you stop getting oil change like you're supposed to you know you're, you're not rotating your tires it's like you you forget about that car but you wanted it so bad in the beginning that's kind of how and I'm, not, and, I'm not, and I'm not comparing anybody to a car but that's something I can think of something like that for instance like you know you were so used to making the payments on time then you're slacking on your payments like oh I can do it later I can do it that's kind of how this this situation is showing me like Something that they once your person valued so much until like let's say they you lose that car or lose that house, then like oh shit, and then when you walk out and you don't got no car, you're like well I didn't what did I do to lose my car? Well maybe I didn't go to work, I didn't put those hours in so I could make my payments. I stopped taking care of my car. Like it's those things that you gotta be like okay what what how did I get here? And that's how, that's how I feel that it's happening with your person. They are this energy. They're they're in this kind of energy where they know they've lost you. They should have treated you better. They should have took care of you, your heart. They should have made time for you. They should have been done taking you out and showed you off. The things you were asking for. You know how like that engine light says, hey, this engine light been on for a month now. Oh, I'll get to it later. That's kind of how your person was. You kept telling this person, look, I, I'm, I'm, I need reassurance. I need clarity. Can we spend time together? I, I want to do something other than being in the house with you all the time. I want to do things. We'll do it. We'll do it. I just, I got to focus on this. Well, that's how it is. Literally. So just, just think about that, okay? September 30th on a Monday, it will come to light. So something is going to be exposed to you, okay? Let's see what this is. Something is going to come to the light for you. Going to give you some type of reassurance where you've been looking for, some type of clarity. <clears throat> September 30th on a Monday, it will come to the light for the collective. Yeah, something here that maybe for some of you... Maybe this person could have ghosted you or had some type of love affair going on and it may come to the light. But some of you are going to realize it wasn't what it cracked it to be. For some of you, this was just a secret that your person wanted to keep from you that's going to be exposed. This was something they just slept somebody slept around with. You know, they knew that they could go see this person, get what they wanted. Something they tried to keep on the down low. Yeah, because see, your person was chasing after a thrill or chasing after the idea of somebody or making somebody believe like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be with you for the rest of my life with you. But when it came down to it, your person was just wanting to be established. <laughs> <clears throat> your person was looking for wealth, for money, for security, and they found that in this other person. But see, your person was masking their feelings with somebody else. They weren't being real the whole time. They over there paranoid, thinking about what you got going on, longing for your touch, your energy, and then they were giving less of themselves to this toxic ass third party. You over here taking trips, you doing what you got to do, and your person's over here in this abusive, unpredictable relationship, all these tea gossip toxicness going on and they're like damn i'm missing my soulmate i'm dreaming about the collective you know so i feel like that's what's happening something's going to come to light about you know something they try to keep from you which could have been another connection some of you're going to find out that this person was just sleeping around with this person for money okay some of you going to maybe was like well he stopped talking to me or she stopped talking to me it was for your protection stop looking at it as he did this or she did this to me, 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 me. Some of y'all are protected from things. Do y'all ever, do y'all ever need to be somewhere at 7.30 or 8.30 and you get on the GPS or whatever and, or maybe you can't find your car. Okay, let's say you're supposed to be somewhere at 7.30, but you can't find your car keys or you can't, you know, uh, you, you can't find your earrings or your shoes. You're like, I just had everything laid out. Why is nothing... Some of you, that, those are the delays in our day. You, we, and then when finally you head there, there was a bad wreck. That could have been you. This is what this is what Spirit is trying to tell y'all. They are protecting you from something that y'all are not seeing, that y'all maybe don't want to be blind to, but it will come to the light. Those questions that you had asked and wanted to know, Spirit is going to tell you they were in another connection or have been in another connection, but it was just to see what they could get. For security, for wealth, to get a new car, to get money, whatever it needed to be. Your person was intentions weren't good. Now, is that a good thing? Absolutely not. Nobody should use anybody. Everybody should be grown enough to take care of their responsibilities. But for some of you, for some of you, your person would rather use this person because they know it's easy. That's that's the easy. That with you, you like, oh, you need to work and go find your go find a job and do what you gotta do. You're not giving this person nothing. Especially when you know, like, damn, you ain't even loyal, you're not solid. 
you're not doing that. Some of you could have helped this person out before and you felt like I will never help you out again. And y'all made that very clear for yourself. Okay, so let's see what's going to come to the light. September 30th on a Monday. It will come to the light for the collective. Archangel Michael has been in his protection, preventing from any harm, divine intervention. Yeah, y'all, some of you are going to find out you that your person was fighting with somebody about money. They were put in, but it's been a fight. Okay, some of you, your spirit angels have been fighting for you on your behalf. We got Virgo Leo energy. Yeah, it's about a third party. Look, cannot make this shit up. Your person was bred coming to third party, and I feel like they're going to tell you this. Yes, they went and left you behind to go get whatever they needed, but they regret that shit because it caused y'all to be at a distance. Y'all are not talking no more. And this person finally was without you for a while. They went and did some type of soul searching, and now they want a second chance because something about you. The universe is constantly putting things in your person's face about you. Some of you, your person lied, got lied to. What's the Five of Wands? It will come to the light for the cliff on September 30th on a Monday. Five of Wands. Yeah, something is, is bound to change. The wheel is turning and y'all about to see it. I'm telling you. Y'all about to see it. And some of you luck is on your side. Yep, something is about to go down. It's about to, y'all gonna be like, what? What's the Wheel of Fortune? September 30th on a Monday. It's going to come to the light for the collective, the Wheel of Fortune. It's going to come to the light. Yep, about a whole nother person. A whole nother situation. This is my head that the person could have chosen of you. Yep, a whole third party. What's the Queen of Wands? September 30th on a Monday. It's all going to come to the light for the collective. Oops. Yeah, a childish connection with the Page of Cups. Somebody who is very childish, they may look good or they may look like they got their shit together, but this individual is very, very childish. Page of Cups came out in reverse. This person that your person left you for is very emotionally immature. They're insecure. Your person is disappointed. For some of you, your person hasn't been able to keep things going for themselves because this third party was in the way. They, they were dealing with bad luck. They were dealing with bad luck. When they got with this person, everything started going downhill for them. Queen of Wands with a page of cups in reverse. It's all going to come to the light. September 30th on a Monday. You were always a better one. Yeah, now they're holding back from this person. Could be a Leo. Yep. Because they had a choice to make. But they went and had a good, had a real love over a fun time. But that's what they wanted. I mean, who's going to argue about it? Okay. October 1st on a Tuesday. Bothering them that you're so unbothered. Yeah, some of you are posting and you're out and about and you're living your best life and you could care less. Okay, you're not spending these. Some of you are in this engine where you're not spending. I mean, you may have a curious mind, but some of you are not in this engine where you're constantly watching them, constantly checking for them. You know, you're not you're not looking for them to reach out to you or talk to you. You may get a reading every now and then. You may watch your videos, my videos, other readers, but I feel like Maybe back then when you had like got a sign or you seen their name, you was quick to write them like, hey, how are you doing? You, you, now you're like, I'm good. I'm not going to hit him up. I'm not going to hit her up. I'm not going to wait around. Even if this person does hit you up today, I feel like some of you with this energy I'm picking up, y'all not going to be rushing to respond back. Some of you may even block them, have been blocking them. October 1st on a Tuesday, bothering them that the collective is so unbothered. Yeah, somebody here looking for some like nurturing love. Let me get one more. October 1st on Tuesday. It's bothering them that the collective is so unbothered. October 1st, yeah. Chaos. <clears throat> yeah, somebody here going, your person's going through something. And I feel like they're looking for some type of wisdom. See, because you're glowing up, new opportunities are presenting themselves. Y'all are posting, y'all are going out. Y'all are having a whole glow up moment. Or they're about to see you have a whole glow up moment. New career, your business successful. Y'all are at peace. Your life is balanced and they see that. They know that. Yeah, and all they're doing is sitting over here second guessing, not second guessing, wanting a second chance, wishful thinking, drowning in their head, running from another situation because it's not what it is. With you, I thought like this person believes more. Like I can actually have these things. I can actually be a. Uh, I can actually live this life that I want to live. Maybe with this other individual, they don't feel like that. It's just constantly fighting and toxicity going on in that connection. With you, for some of you. You were a mentor. You were very wise to this person. You gave to this person. You helped this person. It's like, and they don't have that energy anymore. But somebody here could be getting advice about you, though. Trying to figure out, you know, it's, it's bothering them. So, like, well, why is the collective now acting like they don't care about me? Somebody's like, well, they, they care, but you're not on their downright priority list anymore. 
How much more does a person got to put up with? Okay, so we got September 29th on a Sunday, September 30th on a Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's bothering them that the collective is so unbothered because their life is, is in chaotic. And I thought this person could be like, damn, collective, hit me up. At, like, check on me. Maybe by now y'all would have checked on this person. Like, hey, do you need anything? Can I come through? Do you want me to cook for you? Y'all are not doing nothing. <laughs> October 1st on a Tuesday. It's bothering the collective that you're so involved. Some of you haven't even contacted them or hit them up. Look, nine of cups in reverse. Can I make this shit up? This person is not happy. Dissatisfied. They could be indulging in things. Very materialistic. They, they, you know, they're trying to find some type of happiness. Nine of cups in reverse. October 1st on a Tuesday. It's bothering them that the collective is so unbothered. Nine of cups in reverse. Yeah. Because it's like... They're not happy, but they see you being successful. They see you like, it's like you're on your high horse. It could be a Pisces, Leo energy. <clears throat> you're taking some type of control over your life. October 1st on Tuesday. It's bothering them that the collective is so unbothered. Look. They want your forgiveness. could be a Libra. This person's heartbroken. They are suffering. They're grieving over you. Yeah, because look, they're losing their empress. Or their emperor. We saw that earlier. Look. Vested in the wrong thing, they're bound to a toxic connection, but you are forever the empress. You are the one. They're missing out on something because they chose a toxic connection over you. Yep. They are missing out on true destined love. If they would have got their shit together, now they, now they feel like they've lost you, they're depressed, hurt, they could be going through some type of other breakup, trying to get up out of that, trying to find some mentorship. What's the three of, of swords? October 1st on the Tuesday, Three of Swords. Bothering them that the collective is so unbothered. Yeah, you are firmly standing your ground. And that hurts them because now they know they can't get you back like that. This person should have been honest with you. They should have told you the truth. They should have let you know what it, uh, what it was. Some of you, they should have protected you and had your best interest. Some of you, you would have been okay if this person was like, you know what, collective, hey, I don't want to fuck with you no more. Or I think we need to go our separate ways. Or I'm into somebody else. But this person was... Possibly playing both sides, or they ghosted you or left you behind. And now they're like, What did I just do? I did the dumbest thing ever. Three of Swords, October 1st. Bothering them that the collective is so unbothered. It's, it's you breaking somebody's heart. Yeah, they want to take a leap of faith towards you so bad, collective. And look what keeps coming at the bottom of the neck. Two of, two of um, not two of nothing. The, the lovers. This was a partnership. This was something that they, y'all were, you came on this person's path to help them be better, to learn how to love 2244 on the timer. They they were supposed, y'all could have had a family by now, y'all should have had a family by now, by now. y'all could have got married, okay, had children, but this person was just not in that energy. Now they're ready to take some action to come towards you because now they feel like I need to defend myself. I need to let the collective know, like, look, I've changed. I'm going to do right. I'm going to, I'm going to get my shit together. Now they want this fresh new start, but you may not be open to that. And it bothers them that they can no longer maybe say certain things. Maybe the, maybe the words used to get to your heart or to your mind, it no longer does that. You're like, oh, I've heard it. I've heard it. They say something else. This person may sound like a broken record to you. Okay? <clears throat> October 2nd on a Wednesday. They're scared to live life without you. So somebody's worried. That's why they want to now come in here trying to take you out and show you off and do all these things for you because they're scared to live life without you. But this person was a narcissist and y'all, some of y'all have grown up from narcissistic behavior. Y'all like, I'm not doing this shit. I get somebody else to do it because I'm not. I gave you too many chances. Yeah, some of y'all are definitely cutting ties. You're standing your ground and, and it is what it is, you know? October 2nd on a Wednesday. They're scared to live this life without the collective. October 2nd. Got two cameras. Yeah, look, it's y'all masculine. But they're not doing good. Some of you, they don't have no authority over their life. They're not disciplined. They could be a deadbeat. But they're longing to talk to you. I don't need to take this in reverse. But so there's a masculine who, who wants to talk to you. They're praying that they get to talk to you soon. They do not want to live this life without you. They are scared. They want to talk to you. They're missing you. They want to come together. Yeah, somebody here could be feeling very hopeless. They feel like they lost a good-ass connection. Yeah, because they're out here chasing thrills, chasing other things that didn't even matter. When well, they could have just went and got it, got it out the mud or did it by themselves. Somebody here, a karmic may know that your person 
only wants them for like sex or money. They don't want to really commit to them because maybe every time they take them back or they feel like they got them, your person is still doing the same shit. Even if you're out the picture, they're like, damn, he's still not changing for me. She's still not changing for me. But at the same time, they know about you. So their, their mind ain't really focused. October 2nd on a Wednesday. They're scared to live this life without the collective. Yeah, that's why they hold on could be a Capricorn. This masculine energy is holding on to you. They're holding on to you so tight. Four of Pentacles. They're scared to live this life without the collective. October 2nd on a Wednesday. Yeah, look. This this is like they felt they took a, a big major loss. Like they, they felt they went gambling and they lost all their money. And they don't have no resources, nothing to land back on. They are deep, deeply wounded. They felt like they're in a crisis. Ten of Swords. They're scared to live this life, live this life without the collective. October 2nd on a Wednesday. Ten of Swords. Yep. Because of their sneaky, childish, giving Aquarius, sneaky, childish behavior, trying to put you in competi competition, probably talking to you crazy, possibly being abusive. Yeah, y'all moved on past this. And some of you, you, you got new, you already got a new love or a new soulmate coming in. And they're going to be trying to rush right in to see what you got going on. So you're going to tell them, look, I'm already, I'm already being loved correctly. Like, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. I don't want nothing to do with you. October 2nd on a Wednesday. They're scared to live this life without the collective. Look, justice. See, they know they didn't treat you fair. And right now, they're not being treated fair. They feel like in certain cases, like it's, it's coming out sideways. So they're not getting, it could be a leave where they're not being treated fair. They, they're they realizing something ain't right. Just, they, they trying their best to manifest you back so they can heal this connection with you. Some of you, they have been watching your every move. You may not even know, but they've been watching you. October 2nd on a Wednesday. Why is um justice sideways? For they're scared to live this life without the collective. Just as sideways. Yeah, because you you have found the courage. You are guarded right now. And for some of you, they don't feel like that's fair at all. The lovers wanted to come out. They feel like they're, they're not okay with being without you. The truth has been exposed. They're scared to live this life without the collective. All, October 2nd on a Wednesday. Just as sideways. They're, very, they're getting very weird. Look, they, they feel like this is a broken dream. So right now, yeah, justice coming out sideways. They don't feel like this is fair. I just keep, there's no, but at some time it's like your person don't want to take accountability, but they know they need to take accountability because like they want to play this victim, but that, which is what a narcissist does, but they don't feel like this is fair. They feel so guilty because the reverse comes out on the top. So they feel more guilt than anything. But they feel like things are not right. Yeah, look, Ten of Cups in reverse. So this person feel like this has been a broken, shattered dream. Somebody that could have messed up the family y'all could have had. They're struggling in their other relationships. There's no value. There's a disconnections, okay? And, and maybe that connection with you made them actually feel like they could have something here good. Yep. They doing a lot of soul searching. You know, wondering about, like, why the fuck was I so sneaky? Why did I cheat on the collective? Why did I do the collective like that? But yeah, somebody here feels like that dream that they had is no longer. If, if, even if they plan to come back to you later on in the collective, they feel like that's not even happened. They feel like you were in this energy where you are so unbothered and you're happy and you're moving on and it's not no image. You are really showing to be happy and truly moving on. They're like, damn. So the collective, they've been working on themselves. They're looking good. They're posting pictures. They're out with their crew. Like, this person's like, damn. Like, somebody here is having a moment. Okay, last but not least, October 3rd on the 3rd, say, look, wanting, to, wanting you to have their baby. Or wanting to have your baby. So, there's somebody here who, it can go either way. You know, men could want a woman to have their baby. A woman could want, you know. But somebody here is wanting to have your baby collective. Like, they, they feel like if they get you pregnant or get pregnant by you collective, they feel like that's going to... That's going to mean like maybe you'll stick around with them or y'all could have a chance to work with your relationship. Let's see. October 3rd on a Thursday spirit. It says, wanting the collective to have their baby. Wanting the collective to have their baby. Yeah. See, but this is my here that they, for some of you, this could be a karmic that is wanting to have a baby by your person. So this may not even be about y'all. This could be about, because it's wanting to have your baby. For some of you, this is a karmic. They either could be claiming that they're pregnant or they want to have a baby with your person. 
But this somebody who's a whole hater, and they need to learn a lesson in this. Some of you, that's probably why Ar something's going to come like Archangel Michael has been protecting from this person because the cross really is a karmic who could be trying to pull their. I feel like they're not pregnant. I feel like they're wanting to be pregnant by your person. See, because they know your person is distancing themselves from them and moving on, and they're clinging on to your person. But your person's like, look, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't even care if you are pregnant or you or you think that I got you pregnant. I'm cutting ties. I'm moving on. I'm freeing myself from this. Yeah, look, your person running. And that may be an issue that and maybe this karmic knows that. Maybe this karmic was like, well, I want to get pregnant by you. Or I want you to have my child. And they're like, okay, well, I'm not doing that. And if you do end up getting pregnant or getting pregnant with me, I'm running. So that's why this karmic is like, that's that this karmic is wanting to have your person's baby. Wow, October 3rd on the Thursday. Wanting to have the collector's person's baby. This karmic. Wanting to have the collector's person's baby. Yeah. See, because they feel like that they will be establishing a lot if they get pregnant by your person. Some of your person may have some money, or they feel like they're gonna be able to get like drain your person for money. Mm -mm. October third, give me one more. I want to have the collective person's baby. This karmic. Yeah, they are trying to build. They're drowning because they know your person is 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 moving on from from them. They're hitting rock bottom. Yep, some of you, this karmic knows that your person is rejecting them. So they're going to try to do something to try to get pregnant by your person. They're going to, yeah, look, trapping them. They're going to try to trap your person. Why? Because they're bitter, they're angry, and they're being petty about it. Excuse me. Some of you, a karmic knows that your person has been like mentally stuck with you or not been themselves lately. And they feel like it's because of you. Yeah, they feel like they're about to miss an opportunity with your person. So they're going to try to get pregnant by your person or have a child for your person but they're wanting to i don't feel like they are i feel like they want to but we'll see october 3rd on the thursday wanting to get to have a baby with the collector's person this karmic wants to have a baby with the collector's person yeah but your person's gonna move right on past that yeah, look if this person talks about if this empress energy talks about getting pregnant by your person your person's gonna move on from them because that's not what they want but some of you, I thought like this could be your person want to have your baby, but there's a karmic that's in the way of stopping them from being able to be with you. What's this empress here with the chariot wanting to have the collector's baby October 3rd on a Thursday? Look, the emperor's not, I'm telling you, this is what this karmic wants. They feel like this karmic feels if they get pregnant by your person, that it'll, it'll make them move on from them. Or maybe they look at you as somebody that, Maybe you got pregnant by your person. So I feel like, well, maybe if I get pregnant by the collective, they'll they'll move on and be with me and leave the collective behind. That's what this person is hoping. That they get pregnant or if you or if, yeah, if they get pregnant or get pregnant by your person, that they'll move on and go be with them or move in with them. But this somebody here who I feel like your person can be very stubborn and they're not letting that help happen. They're like, no, nah, they're going to control this. They're like, no, nah, we're not doing that. Wanting to have your baby October 3rd on a Thursday with this Empress energy. Yeah, it's a third party. Are they so excited to do this or try to? They're going to be creative, yeah. Because they feel like this will keep your person heart or having a baby will mean something to your person. But I feel like it's also going to do is keep your person stuck. They're not going to be like, they're, like, they're not going to be wanting to do this, yeah. And at the end, if it does happen to be the person... Your person getting this person pregnant, guess what? Your person is going to regret it. And they're going to forever try to chase you because they're going to realize this was a soulmate connection. They should have went and done right by you. What is this three of cups wanting to have a collector's baby October 3rd on a Thursday? Mm-hmm. Some of you, a karmic is lying about being pregnant. They're only saying things, selling the dream or selling. They really got a hidden agenda. So somebody here could be lying, karmic could be lying about being pregnant. What's the moon? Why is this karmic lying about being pregnant by the collective person with the moon? I told you, because they feel like your person is planning to escape. They feel like your person is planning to run. So they're going to try to keep them stuck. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Taurus. <sighs> yeah. A karmic is trying to possibly plan something for your person. Get them to have a good time. Get them high. Get them drunk and get pregnant that's it what clarify this empress wanting to have your baby you want to have to cut this baby october 3rd and thursday the empress you know look this somebody y'all know who this person is because your person was conflicted and they went and got into a relationship with them 
Now they're trying to plan their greatest escape because I feel like being with them has made them miss an opportunity with you. Mm -hmm. They're very curious about you, been watching you, seeing what you got going on, trying to get some like mentorship, seeking the truth out of the longer they get into this, like stay in this relationship, the truth that they seek, they're realizing, they're realizing they don't want that. Yep, all your person been doing is contemplating. Some of you they lost a lot of money dealing with this person. A lot of things that happen behind the scenes, and you'll be like, oh my gosh. I cannot believe this happened. <laughs> all right, so that's what I got for y'all, beautiful people. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all's week ahead. Um, but this is for somebody out there, so let me know how this works, okay? Let me know what resonated with you, what part, what day, all that good stuff. I need y'all feedback, okay? I love it. Um, once again, thank y'all for all the support. I've been seeing the numbers go extremely high, the views. I'm so thankful. I'm, I'm still shocked. Um, but it looks like we'll be at 7K in no time. So I love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Peace.